Well, Marina Kielman and Tanya Chipchenko got most of the pre-event hype in Dortmund, but it was Wotzel and Stoyer who delivered the gold medal. Silver medalists at the 93 World Championships, and we'll have a 95 World Championship preview when we return. at Nationals in Halifax. This fall cost him a chance to defend Canadian honours, but his self-proclaimed voyage of discovery is back on course. Pretty much ahead of schedule. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll improve a lot by the end of this week by constantly working it and, and, and stretching it out. I've been taking three days off at a time. I'll skate for four or three days off. Um, I find that a combination works really well to give it time to rest. Todd Eldridge is the comeback story of the year, winning U.S. Nationals for the first time since 91. And with two-time U.S. champion Scott Davis, the Americans have a pair of medal hopes. So too has Russia. Ilya Kulik won Europeans at age 17 and appears ready for the world stage. While Olympic champion Alexei Ermanov was second in Dortmund, but his long program second to none. Philippe Candelero, the godfather, will try to make the judges an offer they can't refuse in Birmingham. In the ladies' event, there was no silver lining for runner-up Saria Bonnelly of France in Makahari. But again in Dortmund, Saria made the top of the podium her own for the fifth consecutive year, and she claims the favorite's role in England. Michelle Kwan gave Americans reason for hope after the Harding-Kerrigan scandal. At 14, she has the poise of a champion, but brash Nicole Bobek surprised Kwan and the skating world by winning U.S. Nationals. Jose Schwinnard turned professional, and Canada turned to Nettie Kim as its new champion. She's 18 years of age, from Willowdale, Ontario, and skates at the Upper Canada Skating Club in Thornhill. Nettie and teammate Jennifer Robinson are first-time participants at the World Championships. My attitude is that it doesn't matter uh, what other people think about my skating, and as long as I enjoy it, and as long as I want to keep pushing myself and bettering myself as a skater, then that's all I really need. Canada's last medal in ice dance was delivered by Tracy Wilson and Rob McCall in 1988. In their footsteps, Shaylin Bourne and Victor Kratz appear poised to carry Canada's colors to the podium once again. They train in Lake Arrowhead, California, and are intent on improving on last year's world ranking. I'd love to place higher than six, you know, get up there. That, that's always been our goal, but we're looking more four years from now when it comes to first. Um, now it's just more the stepping stones to get there, but I think just to skate well and see what happens. We want to be the best there is in the ice dance portion and be remembered as, as the first North American team that has made the big step from you know from like local competitions to world level and olympic level and hopefully be the first ones to have a medal at worlds or olympics if healthy the defending champions oksana kritschuk and evgeny platov will be the couple to beat if not european winners rakim okoko hope to finish their amateur careers in golden style but they were only one judge better than sophie magnat and pascal lavanchi of france at the europeans Paris is the most wide open event, and with the departure of perennial medalist Brasseur and Eisler, new champions Michelle Menzies and Jean-Michel Bombardier are Canada's best hope. The defending world champions Evgenia Shishkova and Vadim Naumov are back, but have yet to recapture last year's glory. The European title instead went to the home favorites, Mandy Watzel and Ingo Steuer of Germany, the silver medalists at the 93 Worlds. The competition, it's so close, the skaters are so good, the Russians and the Czechs. Well, the well all here. five players can win the gold medal. And that's why we say we hope we are good and we win a medal. Czechs Rodka Kovarikova and Reni Novotny lost a 5-4 judges decision in Dortmund but could easily reverse that. Russians Marina Eltsova and Andrei Bushka missed the podium at Europeans but are capable of winning in England. And Jenny Mino and Todd Sand dazzled with sixes at U.S. Nationals. They round out a field of five golden contenders when the 95 World Figure Skating Championships begin Tuesday in Birmingham.